What is up everybody, Sokoflex here bringing you guys another video. Today it's a bit of a ranty video because it's not as much about the replay, well it kinda is at the same time. But we're gonna talk about mines. And then encounter is like a bonus. But mines map and why the fuck is it in tier 10? Why is it in tier 9? Why is it in tier 8, 7, 6 and 5? Literally no business of being here, alright? Let me pause the video. Let the replay real quick, all right? Let's take a look here. So we're on mines. We have the best matchmaking possible for us, which is really shitty for all the tier 8s. Um, because 10-5 is far superior, but that's for another topic. Um, so what do we got? We got an I-7, a Yak Panzer versus I-7, Yak Panzer. 13-105, 13-105. Um, so that's fine. Two scouts. Then they have, you know, kind of, we have a Centurion, they have a Type 4 Heavy, blah, 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 T-54. And then at tier 8, they have the Bedshed and we have the Bulldog. And those are pretty much the fast tanks. Yeah, kind of FE4202. Maybe Pershing Centurion. Sort of, kind of, sort of. 432. But what what does this mean on mines? All right. Every fucking mines game ever goes this way. All right. So we are the two scouts. We are the fastest. And I know <laughs> that in Encounter... At least a lot of scouts spawn here and they have to go through water which slows them down and then they're always going to be late for the hill and that's my main fucking point all right this is every game ever on mines ever <laughs> like it is disgusting all right uh so we have now we have the hill the vetcha 12t is there so we're gucci you know the bulldog didn't climb i climbed because you know i just took the risk basically for, for, you know, the other 13105 might as well had a good spawn or whatever and been here with the 12T and I would have been dead. That's the fucking gamble you take, right? Now the betcha is like, oh, fuck, I can't climb anymore. I7 and 5120 are here. <clears throat> it is whatever, right? The betcha 12T is still kind of looking. And so am I. I'm just like, mm, maybe I can shoot into the sides or something. And this is my entire fucking problem with this map. And you'll see what's going to happen this entire freaking game. There's also one artillery. Which I forgot to mention. And so we're going to go for the I-7 here. But the, the mines map is terrible. Because the higher level you get, the more insane the speeds you get. You know, and even at, for example, tier 6. If you have three Cromwells and the enemy has anything but Cromwells as medium tanks. You're fucked. You're absolutely fucked. And as encounter, it is. I've turned encounter off later in the evening here because it's way easier for our spawn to cap this out than it is for them. Especially, guess what? If we have the middle of the map, All right? So Yakbenzer shows up. Ah, oh, one shot, two shot, and yeah, three shot. Oh man, such a good game. He's on like no health now. I'm gonna reload for 22 seconds. I'm gonna fart around a little bit because I'm extremely safe. The only thing that can happen to me. In this spot, is if somebody pays attention on this ridge line, which there's almost no cover, or if I get artillery, and if I'm a fucking idiot and I go on the ridge line here, I get shot by some TD. Right? These people have no, <laughs> like, good luck climbing up when there's people here, hauled down as fuck, right? And that's another thing, for artillery, it is super fucking easy to shoot RT, like to RT the people here or here. You can do this for fucking weeks at a time because there's always going to be people and you need people there because otherwise you give up the middle and this little fucking plateau wins you the entire fucking game. The one two line doesn't fucking matter. This line doesn't really matter unless it's an encounter. And then all that matters is the middle. If I was an enemy team and I had the base, I could shoot these guys in the back when they were still here. I can spot the fucking base campers. If I'm lucky, I could spot artillery. Hell, I can even shoot through these things here and shoot towards where the Bulldog is at. It's absolutely ridiculous for a higher tier map to have the, this kind of fucking advantage so early in the game with minimal risks after the first minute of the game. After the first minute, let's just plow through this high 4 real quick. After the first minute and you've taken the risk and you fought for the hill, which is extremely AIDS, right? Because you don't know who's going to climb the hill. You don't know if the enemy team is going to climb the hill. Say they have bed sheds and like say the, 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 the team comp was different with a lot of mediums. 
It is a fucking casino. It's like winning the lottery if they don't go hill, but your team does. So you automatically win the fucking game. Here we go again. You know, there's bushes everywhere here. So let me just uh, yeah, so spot the scorpion here. And, uh, you know, oh, we're spotted. I guess I'll fart around a little bit. And then here I'm still spotted, so I make the mistake of uh, actually climbing up. This could have been, you know, I could have taken a lot of damage here. Oh, let me just see. Oh, Centurion. Oh, fuck. And then the T95 paid attention, shoots me for 429. Whoop de fucking do. This thing has minus 8 gun depression, which is, like, disgusting. You can, you can do all the things I did pretty much with minus 6 onwards. But minus 8 plus is, like, ridiculous. You can do everything you fucking want, right? I'm just farting around in the middle. It's been 3 minutes. I spent two and a half on this little plateau of the map. I've done 3,800 damage, which I should never have done in, on any map ever. Early game like this, this fucking easily. It's ridiculous, right? Oh, T95, well, you're too busy doing something else. Let me just wait. Ah, oh, shoot you in the side. Ah, oh, 400. Ah, oh, 418. Oh, man, high rolls. Feels good, man. And another one. 365. Centurion misses because it's incredibly fucking aids to shoot back at these people here as well. I don't have any turret armor, but my turret is fairly small. But if you even imagine being a Centurion here versus tier 6 and 7s, good fucking luck. Like, they will never fucking pen you, ever. And the only thing you can do if you're a scout, uh, or, or like not a scout, if you're a TD, say you're the Scorpion or the S1, where the fuck do you go? Like, it's unique to see an S1 there, because it's 8s. Like, what are you going to do? You're gonna, you, you want to have spots so you can shoot these people? Which is extremely hard, because again, you don't have the freaking middle. And what this scorpion is doing is what most people do. You sit in the bush there, you sit in the bush here, you sit in the bush there, you sit in the bush there. You fucking pray to God that you get some fucking turret shots onto the people on the hill, because that's what it's all about. And if you're in heavy tank and you don't want to get arty to death because there's fucking fire artillery in the game, or free or whatever, you're gonna sit here and proxy spot for the TDs in the back. It's fucking terrible. This map has nothing to do, absolutely nothing to do in higher tier. This should be restricted to tier 4 and below, where the tanks are slow, you know, combat is slow, you, but you get into an easy fight because it's a small map, you know, you can fight on the hill, you know, you can do all that shit, and lower tiers just fine. But literally, tier 5 and up has nothing to do here and i'm really tired of getting this map in higher tiers because it's always this game i swear if you go through my youtube channel and you filter out my games on mines i swear nine out of ten times it's gonna be a game where i'm in a medium or something with gun depression and i'm on the hill right that's gonna be nine out of ten of these games on mines as i'm here telling the people to <laughs> Please stop capping, because encounter is way too easy to cap on our side of the map. And I, I actually had a game where the, on mines or later this day, where we capped in like two minutes because the enemy team is unable to decap because it's fucking terrible. All right, I figure you know play encounter maybe some variation. No, it's fucking terrible. So now I've done six thousand damage, and what have I really done? I took the gamble to go fucking hill. And there was no opposition whatsoever, because once you're on the hill, it's really, really hard to dig you out. I've seen Super Conquerors up there. I've seen IS-7s up there. All the mediums with gun depression. You know, Object 140s, uh, Skodas. Everything, dude. I've seen freaking, like, Super Heavies get up there. It's impossible to dig them out. I've done over 6,000 damage. But was this really skilled gameplay at all? Like, fucking any, any Steve could have done this, right? Anybody could have had this game. Literally anyone. And this is one of those maps, and there's a couple more like this, but mine is such a big fucking offender. It's like, it tilts me every time. And instead of just ranting about it on stream all the time, I figure I'd make one video about it, and that is this one. And that is that mines is fucking terrible. And if you go to your local replay site, and you look for El Khalouf games, I swear to God, there's like two variations of it, right? One variation is, you get the hill early, and you win the fucking game. The other one is, where the enemy team gets the hill, and you proxy spot, and the TDs actually manage to pick off enough targets where they can make a mountain comeback. That is pretty much the flavor of mines. Fucking two flavors, and that's it. Like, incredible. We've done over 7,000 damage in si uh, less than 6 minutes with about a minute of travel time. Just five minutes of continuous fucking fire. 
It's ridiculous. What, like, what? <laughs> what are we doing here? Like, why is this still in the game? And uh, whenever I bring this up on stream, people say, you know what, Zergon, it's because of esports. Dude, esports is an entirely different game. That is not World Tanks 15 versus 15. If you want to keep it in esports, fine. All right, you like they don't they they don't practice in 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 these kind of games in 15 versus 15. They probably do scrims. You know, they play against other clients that they, they meet up at like you know during the day and play scrims all day. That's probably how the esports teams train, or that that's how I imagine they would do it because that's how a lot of other games do it. You know what I mean? So yeah, mines. Holy, holy shit! Is it bad? And this is my one and only rent about it. Eh, meh, maybe we'll be another rent later. But by God, can we please remove this map from high tier? All right, I think we're all sick and tired of it. Terrible map. Same outcomes every day. Oh, there's actually one more thing I can show you. This is this is the other flavor. If you're in a slower tank and you spawn there, let me just speed up. If you're in a fucking slower tank or whatever, you know. This side of the map, you're completely fucked, right? You're completely fucked. This side of the map, get this little pocket here. That's another way to get a good replay on this on this uh, on this map. You go here where the tank hopefully has gun depression, <clears throat> and uh, if it has armor as well, you're golden. And then you shoot people here in the side until they get sick of you. And then later in the game, you climb up anyway and you dominate again from the same fucking hill. <sighs> I swear to God. Can we please remove this map, or, or at least bring it to tier 4 and below? Like, the moment you bring it to tier 5, and especially tier 6, things like Cromwells would dominate so hard, the team with the most Cromwells will win, which is the case in a lot of maps, but when you put it on things like this, it's just ridiculous, okay? So yeah, there you have it. Mines. Terrible map. Love to hear your opinions on it. Leave comments down below. I would love to hear what my community thinks about this map. That's it for me today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed these little reds. I got more coming up. The next one is probably going to be about matchmaking. Get hyped. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out some more videos of mine. Maybe some gameplay videos. Um, I, like I said, I'm going to do more rent videos. So I have to rent less on stream. And I can just point people towards my YouTube channel. You know, you feel me? Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Peace out, everyone.